Bonsai! I'm the Cobra Kai Kid, and today we have some new information about Cobra Kai Season 3, when it's coming out, when it's not coming out, and when are we getting a trailer. Now, our information comes from a very reliable source in Hayden Schlossberg, who is one of the writers of Cobra Kai. And he went on Twitter and he actually answered a bunch of fan questions. And I'm not really much of a Twitter person. I don't really know how to use it. I don't use it that much. But I have some of you guys to thankfully let me know what's going on in the Twitter world. Let me know when I'm getting mentioned. Let me know when there's big announcements. And hopefully I'll catch up to it soon. But for now, I appreciate it. So Alex Oak Ridge, War Eagle 423 and Hooded Webhead, shout out to them for sending me this info, and without them, I wouldn't be able to do this, so thank you guys for sending me this info. And we have a bunch of questions that fans asked Hayden Schlossberg, the writer of Cobra Kai, and he answers them, and I'm gonna go over them now because they reveal some new stuff about Cobra Kai season three and when we can expect to get it, so here we go. Now, Mike Spinely, I think, on Twitter says, hey, when can we expect season three, man? Is it delayed due to COVID-19? And Hayden says, soon, and no. So, that's not really much, but, you know, it's something. Guillermo Cabrera asks, is it coming out next month? And then Hayden responds, it will come out in weeks. Now, weeks, you know, that's not one week. It's probably not two weeks. Probably three, four weeks. Like, I would, I would say in a month. I would say early May. Based on his answer, it will come out in weeks. I would say early to mid-May. I don't think it's gonna come out in late May. Cause then he would say like a month or two. I think it's coming out in early to mid-May. Hopefully, hopefully. Okay, now Ryan Sperator, sorry if I'm saying these names wrong. Will the episodes in season three be longer than season two? Great question. Hayden responds, yes, they average a little over 30 minutes this year. Most are over 30, some closer to 40. Now that is great, great, great news. Some of the episodes we got in season one and two um, would be 30 minutes, some would be like 21 minutes. So um, to hear that most are over 30 and close to 40, that's awesome. That means we're getting so much more Cobra Kai content and you know, there's only 10 episodes and then we have to wait a whole nother year. So the more Cobra Kai, the better. Like, it's just crazy how much content we're getting. And I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. That gets me very excited. Millie Watkins asks, will the trailer for season three be released within the next month? I need something to get me through this lockdown. Me too. Uh, Hayden says, no trailer in April, but it will be here before you know it. So that's the 100% confirmation. We are not getting a trailer in April. Um, it sucks because it's only the beginning of April, so we still got a lot more April left. Um, but, you know, we are not getting it in April, and he says it'll be here before we know it. So I am taking that as a sign it's early to mid-May. And, you know, based on all the, de like, the delays and stuff, which, I mean, technically there hasn't really been a delay. They never said it would come out in April. You know, they said spring which now it's kind of looking like summer, but technically there hasn't been a delay, so I, I'd like to take that back. But um, I mean, based on all the things that have been happening, I wouldn't be surprised if it came out late May. I wouldn't want that, and I don't think it is, but I wouldn't be surprised because, I don't know. Now, Nabula2029 asks, where's Terry Silver from Karate Kid 3 been the past years? And Hayden responds, he has many residences all over the world, but spends a lot of time in South Africa. Now, I have no clue what that means. I don't know if that's a joke. Like, if it is a joke, I don't get it, but I have no idea. And I, I, I really just don't know what to take away from that. He's not revealing that he's gonna be in season three, but he's saying some sort of joke. I don't think he would be joking about that if he wasn't in it. I do believe that Terry Silver will be in Cobra Kai season three, I really do. And I'm, I'm saying it here, and I have 100% faith in it. Terry Silver will be in season three. Now Watch Party asks, and shout out to Watch Party, very good YouTube channel, does Cobra Kai stuff, make sure to check Watch Party out. So Watch Party asks, many people are unsure how Kreese was able to gain control of the Cobra Kai dojo. Was it an offer of more money that convinced Sarkarian to give him the lease, or was Kreese just better at scratching his paws? 
Hayden responds, Kreese taught a good game, proved his reliability, was willing to sign a contract, and used Zykarian's distaste of Johnny and Daniel to his advantage. That's, wow. Cool. I hope we get more details about that in the show, but it's cool to know. And I don't think we needed that whole, it, it would have ruined that scene if we saw Kreese signing the deal and getting the lease. It would have ruined that final thing where he, where Johnny walks in and sees Kreese training his students. So I love how we got it, but I hope we get a little more info on that in season three. And I think we will. Lila Kuhn says, you said your favorite scene was Johnny and Daniel at the bar. They have such great chemistry, which actually makes me root for them as friends. Will we get more scenes like that? Why can't they just fist bump and be friends? Yeah, I agree. And then Hayden says, there are a couple moments like that in season three for sure. Let's go. That means we are going to get Johnny and Daniel bonding moments. That's always the best. And I said it before, and I'm saying it now. I want Johnny and Daniel doing karaoke. We saw them sing together in the car in season one, episode nine, and I think it would be hilarious. It would just be hilarious. I don't know how, I don't know where, I don't know how you set it up, but just do it. Just have them sing karaoke together, please. That's, that's all I want. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Jake Broadwell says, in all the seasons so far, episode 10 has ended on a cliffhanger. Is episode 10 in the new season the same? Someone big coming in? And Hayden says, yes. Every finale sets up an awesome next season. Now, the first thing you could take away from this is Terry Barnes. Oh my God, oh my God. Did I, I just said Terry Barnes, oh my God, wow. Mike, no, Terry's over, Terry's over. Mike Barnes, I don't think would be the big guy to come in at the end, you know? I think maybe in the middle. I don't think he's that big where he comes in at the end. I feel like Terry Silver would come in at the end most likely. But at the same time, I feel like Terry Silver needs to be a part of season three. I feel like he's not one, I don't know. I really don't know. Is Kreese going to be the main villain throughout the whole season three? I feel like it needs to be Terry Silver who starts to come in. But at the same time, depending on how they do it, they couldn't work it where um, Kreese is the villain of season three. And then it sets up Silver for season four. But he's saying someone big is going to come in at the end. And, you know, we don't really have many people left. So I'm thinking it's Terry Silver, but I don't know. I really don't know. I, I, I'm saying 100% he's in season three, but... We'll have to see. Slato Milisavic asks, who is your favorite character? My favorite character is Miguel. And Hayden says, I love them all, but if you want one, I'll say Terry Silver, which is very good news for Cobra Kai and season three, because if he's his favorite character, why not bring him back? And once again, another Terry Silver mention. Clay Weintraub asks, has Thomas Ian Griffith been contacted about making an appearance? And Hayden says, trust that I love Terry Silver. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> now, I never believed this theory to be true. I did not think it was true one bit because it takes a long time to film these seasons, but a lot of people thought this was true and now it's uh, finally debunked. We got our answer. Jason Ristu asks, any truth to the rumor that seasons three and four were filmed simultaneously? And Hayden says, it is true that it's a rumor. So obviously doing more trolling, but yeah, for all of you who thought season three and four were being filmed together because it's been taking a long time, not true. So we are not gonna get a season four that quick, so. Josh Singer asks, is Allie Mills returning and is Mike Barnes coming back? Hayden says, maybe and perhaps, which I take that as 100%. You know, he, like they know how much Karate Kid Cobra Kai means to everyone. They're, they wouldn't, they would say like, no. You know, they wouldn't, they wouldn't tease it and then not have it. So it, even if they don't come in season three, they're going to come in season four or five. They're going to come. And I do believe that we are getting 100% Alley in season three. Mike Barnes, I wouldn't be 100% sure. Maybe season four if they want to hold some stuff back. But, you know, if he's in season three, I wouldn't be surprised. So... I'm excited. Now, I'm a little upset here. You know, I don't know if it's 100% true, but Hayden kind of confirmed a spoiler. Maybe he's just trolling. He's been trolling this whole time with a lot of answers, so. But Scythe asks, will Miguel get his revenge on Robbie? And Hayden says, oh yes. Which, like, that's a spoiler, I guess, if it's true. Maybe he's not, like, maybe he's just kidding, but I mean, I don't know. I, I didn't think that Miguel would go after Robbie. I thought Miguel would be too hurt 
and just worry about heat recovering. I think he would be more like disappointed and upset and just hurt rather than like angry because I don't think that's who he is as a person. But um, I don't know, Hayden just said yes. So I guess we'll see Miguel getting his revenge on Robbie or maybe he's just trolling. We'll have to wait and see. Higgs asks, will season three feel like a lighthearted period film about simpler times? Hayden says it will be heavy and light, simple yet complex. And you would think that answer is confusing, but based on seasons one and two, it actually makes pretty much a lot of sense. You know, there's the comedy, there's the fun, there's the seriousness. It has a lot of different tones and it really balances those tones very well. I love that about the show. Clay Weintraub asks, is it true Nicole Brown is not coming back next season? Hayden responds, characters come in and out of the show as you saw in season two and we'll see in season three. So we know Nicole Brown, the actress of Aisha, said she wasn't in season three. So this is a very interesting answer because he's saying characters come in and out of the show, as you will see in season two and season three. I don't think she will be in season three though because she said she wasn't. So I think he's saying that with other characters. I don't think that means necessarily her, unfortunately, because I do love Aisha and I, I wish she was in the season. I don't know why she isn't, but. It is what it is. Now, just a reminder, we have to take these answers with a grain of salt because he could just be trolling all of us because he cares about the show just as much as we do. So I don't, he wouldn't want to spoil everything. So Andrew Patterson asks, will Tori be going to Julie in season three? And Hayden says, no, she got out. You'll see why. Now, if he just said, no, she got out, then I would think he's trolling. But he said, you'll see why. Like, why would he add that extra part if that was the truth? But I, it's, it's, it's a weird situation. How long after season two is season three gonna take place? I'm actually gonna make a video on that. But um, it's, it's just, I don't know. He could be trolling us with all these answers. But I think these answers tell a lot about what will happen. Even if he's not revealing what's gonna happen, I think the way he answers the questions, um, the way he says some of the things, I think it does reveal some stuff about Cobra Kai and the future of it. Well, you know, there's a thousand quadrillion tweets. I can't read them all or we'd be going on here forever. We already read a bunch of them and I tried to read the most important ones about season three and about the future of Cobra Kai. And what I take away from this, you know, there's not really much to take away, but I can 100% believe that we will be getting all our beloved characters at some point or another, including Terry Silver, Mike Barnes, Ali, Chosen, Call Me Go. Um, there was no questions about Julie, but I believe we are gonna see Julie, maybe in like season four or something. I do believe we'll see Julie, and I'm just so excited. So, you know, we're not getting Cobra Kai in April too. He also confirmed that, but we are most likely going to get a trailer in May, and I'm very excited. We just have to keep being patient and just it's gonna be good when it comes out. I believe it's gonna be 1000% worth the wait and I am excited, I love every minute of it and when it comes out, I'm gonna be freaking out and not knowing what to expect and that's the beauty of it. So I can't wait for this trailer. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll leave a link to Hayden's Twitter down below so you guys can check that out and read all the questions. There's a lot of interesting stuff there, but just keep in mind, he's pretty much trolling a lot of times. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, leave a like, drop a comment, and remember, Cobra Kai never dies.